Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, welcome in. February 26, Psalm 25, verses 1 to 22. The Guidance of God. In Psalm 25, David points out that we can experience God's guidance if we meet certain spiritual conditions. The first is confidence. We give evidence of our confidence in God through worship. We need to pray so that we might have our hearts right with him. Waiting is another evidence. Verses 3, 5, and 21. Every time I've rushed ahead, I've gotten into trouble. In verses 4 and 5, David talks about his willingness to follow. God won't show us his will unless we're willing to do it. Another evidence of our confidence is the witness of the word. Verse 5. When we have big decisions to make, we must spend time in the scriptures. Penitence also is a condition for receiving God's guidance. David is sorry for his sins. He wants God to remember his tender mercies, not David's transgressions. When God remembers someone, he goes to work for that person. He never forgets his children. David asks God for mercy, verse, verses pardon me, 10 and 16, because he is concerned about his past sins, and he doesn't want those sins to get him off target. Obedience is another condition. We are all sinners. We don't have to be perfect for God to guide us, just obedient. The word humble means yielded to God. If we obey what God already has told us, then he will show us the next step. We also must exhibit reverence. God will guide us in our choices if we fear him. The word secret, verse 14, means friendship. Godly fear doesn't mean we are slaves. It means we have loving reverence and respect for a gracious and kind God. Finally, we must show perseverance. It's not always easy to know and do the will of God. Sometimes when we're seeking the Lord, circumstances get worse. David was lonely and afflicted, but he remembered that God was with him. Because of that, he maintained his integrity and obedience. Do you need God's guidance today? Make verses 1 to 5 your prayer for his guidance in your life. Place your confidence in him and yield to him in spite of circumstances. You will please God and help accomplish his purposes in your life and in the lives of others.